Are we about to witness the Kitty Hawk flight of the future? The train of tomorrow? Roll the video. Here it is. What started as just a pipe dream of Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk just took a gigantic and historic step toward reality. The Hyperloop One has just completed its first ever full scale test run of the high speed train in a tube. The man whose team has just pulled it off is here. Josh Geigel is the co founder and head of Hyperloop One. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Liz. Okay, you, you have to help me here. Kitty Hawk is your reference. Why not something like Japan's bullet train or, you know, the TGV in France, the train en grande vitesse? The new mode of transportation. So just like they did in Kitty Hawk, it's time for a new mode, and that's Hyperloop. Okay, who was in the test tube, as, I, as I'm <laughs> calling it? Who was in the test train, yeah. and how fast did it end up going? So this is the first phase of our test program. So it went about 70 miles an hour, and we'll be getting up to about 250 here shortly. And then there's actually nobody inside. So okay. just a bunch of sensors, just a bunch of dorky electronics. So, <laughs> Were the, uh, Do you have airbags and seatbelts? I mean, you're going 250 miles an hour eventually. This will, as we go through like the regulation process, that's what we're going to do. We want this to be, you know, you showed a video before of the people waiting in the airport. Mm -hmm. We don't want to reinvent that same experience anymore. And so this whole experience just needs to be something completely new. Who's funding it? So right now we're a venture back company and starting to try to secure contracts with governments around the world. Because that thing looks expensive. <laughs> well, anytime you build something, anytime you're going to ride in something, it's definitely going to be more expensive. And when it's up and running, how much will a ticket cost? We're shooting for a ticket price that's affordable for everybody. So this won't be rich only. This will be everybody. Explain how it works. This okay. is fascinating to me. All right. So you take a tube and you take most of the air out of it out. And not all of it. How but am most. I supposed to breathe then? <laughs> you got inside the pod, you've got nice stuff, you can have your coffee, you can have okay, everything you okay. want. And then that reduces the drag so that you can use very little energy as you go. And then you have magnetic levitation, but this isn't your grandmother's maglev. This is stuff that's really been around for only 10 or 15 years. And then we have an electric motor that does a propulsion. So if you imagine just unrolling a motor inside of a Tesla or anything like that, that's actually what gives it the propulsion. And so this magnetic uh, sort of integration with the tube itself, mm -hmm. is so you, there are no tracks, there are no wheels? No wheels. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. This sounds almost like not a new form of transportation, but a new way of saving time because especially for our business audience, time is money. Yeah. And that's what we feel like, you know, I've been saying for a while that we're trying to save time. We sell time. We actually don't sell a transportation system because it's not just the journey on it. It's how long it takes you to get from the moment you think about buying the ticket to the moment you get there. How do you build it out? It seems like if you're going, if you're eventually going L.A. to San Francisco, which I assume is what, what is sort of the holy grail, at least at the moment, mm -hmm. you, you need to buy either real estate to, upon which you can make this thing travel or take it by eminent domain. So the nice thing about our system is because it's on the columns itself, you don't need to buy the whole land. So if you look at a high-speed rail, they've got fences on either side. Mm -hmm. It's like 70 yards wide, what they actually have to do. For us, like our, our test bed, it's up in the air. You can go underneath it. You know, you don't have little kids running across the track. And Speaking of little kids, last question. Okay. When this is tested with humans and up and running, would you put your kid in it? I put my kid, my wife, my dog, and my parents on it. So, <laughs> the dog too. The dog too. <laughs> and the fish. Yeah. Listen, best of luck to you. Thank Entrepreneurs you. and big thinkers like you and Elon are always welcome here. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Liz. Thank you so yeah. much. Josh Geigel is Hyperloop One co-founder and president. Let's let's cheer them on. Good. Congratulations.